Samsung's mid-range chips used to be pretty weak performance-wise, but a few years ago, they started getting better with the Exynos 1380. Next year, Samsung might release the Exynos 1580, which could be as powerful as Qualcomm's Snapdragon 888, their top chip from 2021. A new Samsung smartphone chip, called S5E 8855, showed up in the Geekbench database. This chip will probably be named the Exynos 1580 and might be used in the Galaxy A56 next year. It has an 8-core CPU with one main core at 2.91 GHz, three high-performance cores at 2.6 GHz, and four efficient cores at 1.95 GHz. The new Samsung chip was tested on a device with 8 GB of RAM and Android 15 to One UI 7.0. It got 1,046 points in the single-core test and 3,678 points in the multi-core test on Geekbench 5. This makes it nearly as powerful as the Exynos 2100 and Snapdragon 888, which were top chips from Samsung and Qualcomm in 2021. The Exynos 1580 has Samsung's Xclipse 540 GPU, which is an upgrade from the Xclipse 530 GPU and the Exynos 1480. It's probably based on the same AMD RDNA 3 graphics technology used in the Galaxy S24's Exynos 2400 chip. The Galaxy A56 was seen running several tests on benchmarks. Specifically, four test results for the phone were uploaded, with the Galaxy A56 achieving top scores of 1,353 in single-core tests and 3,847 in multi-core tests. This chip, known by its model number S5E8855, is codenamed Santa, as reported by Galaxy Club. The Galaxy A55, released in March this year, uses the Exynos 1480 chip, which is codenamed Rose and has the model number S5E8845. Based on Samsung's usual way of numbering their chips, the S5E8855 will probably be called the Exynos 1580. The new chip will probably first appear in the Galaxy A56 next year. However, aside from its model number and code name, Galaxy Club hasn't shared any other details about this chip. This is likely because there isn't any more information about the Exynos 1580 yet. The Galaxy A55 and its Exynos 1480 chip were only released three months ago. The Santa code name is interesting, but it doesn't tell us what the Exynos 1580 will be like. The Exynos 1480 is a great chip with big improvements, including the first mid-range AMT powered GPU. However, we don't think Samsung will make big upgrades to their mid-range chip two years in a row. It would be great if Samsung focused on improving the Exynos 1480's Neural Processing Unit NPU. This would let them bring Galaxy Eye features to mid-range devices. This assumes that Samsung wants to do this. They might keep Galaxy Eye features exclusive to flagship phones for another year or two to sell more of them. However, Samsung could surprise us, just like Santa surprises kids every year. We'll update you as soon as we get more information about the Exynos 1580 and the Galaxy A56, so stay tuned. What's your thought on this? Let me know in the comments section.